Tonight, this man is back in Iowa. Kyle Rickey is who investigators say shot and killed an Iowa police officer in Algona. Then about four hours after that shooting, investigators in Minnesota arrested him there. Now, Algona police say Officer Kevin Cram's funeral, that was yesterday, well, Kevin Cram died while trying to arrest Ricky just last week. The Iowa Department of Public Safety issued what's called a blue alert to try and locate the suspect, but admits the execution of that blue alert wasn't perfect. It's designed to be like an Amber Alert for missing endangered children, except for law officers who are endangered in the line of duty. KCRG TV 9's Becky Phelps looks at the Blue Alert's inaugural rollout and joins us now live in studio. Becky? The National Blue Alert Network is a system established by the Justice Department. It's been adopted by 37 states, including Iowa, in 2021. The goal is to get help from the public finding a suspect if a peace officer is injured or killed in the line of duty. The investigation into the shooting of Algona police officer Kevin Cram on September 13th was the first use of the Blue Alert system in Iowa. We pulled heavily from uh, a couple other states, Texas being one of them, uh, Minnesota, um, some programs that have been around for a while. Lieutenant Heath Hove says the Iowa Department of Public Safety helps coordinate the Blue Alert and notifies law enforcement in nearby counties. Then DPS officials must gather all the data needed and validate it. From the time Officer Cram was shot until the blue alert was posted to the public via Facebook, about three hours and 40 minutes had passed. The law says DPS shall transmit the blue alert through the emergency alert system to Iowa broadcasters, but that never happened. Um, in this case, specifically, as we were getting ready to send that message out, uh, the suspect was apprehended in Minnesota, so we didn't actually uh, hit send on that message. The department says while the first use of this system may not have been perfect, it was ultimately successful. It takes time. You're gathering information and you're gathering a lot of it and trying to sort through it. I mean, it's a rapidly evolving um, situation. There are several requirements to trigger a blue alert in Iowa. A peace officer must have suffered death or serious injury in the line of duty, and law enforcement must have descriptive information of a suspect that's on the loose and may be a serious threat to the public. An officer is missing in the line of duty while within the scope of their work, and there's reason to believe that they are in danger or injured. A report from the Justice Department shows 331 law enforcement officers were shot in the line of duty in 2022. 62 officers died. The goal of the blue alert system is to get immediate help from the public, similar to an Amber Alert. And it can be put out in many different uh, ways. So then you can get, you can generate tips and calls into a 911 call center, into a peace app uh, to get the suspect apprehended. DPS says they're still working on building out the program, including developing a website to help streamline communication when an alert is needed. So just making sure that you have those blocks checked and that what you're doing is the right thing to do for uh, the officer and for the uh, residents of Iowa. Continuing work for a tool everyone hopes is rarely used. Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News.